on PayPal integration into Angular and uh, gone through this uh, issue. So after doing a lot of research, I finally found solution and that is that one I am sharing with you. So hope it will help to fix your issue. So you can see error like you are logging into the account of the seller for this per per purchase. Uh, please change your login information and try again. So let me show you first like uh, how uh, this issue came. So सबसे पहले क्या है कि हमारा जो यहाँ पे अगर आप PayPal यहाँ पे हम देखते हैं तो ये हमारा क्या है PayPal का business account है ठीक है दो account होते हैं एक personal you can say individual and uh, business account. So in in this case uh, what we have to do like uh, in if you go to app and credentials so in the in this case you will get like a uh, okay uh, let me log in first. So now we have login successfully and you can see here we have a secret ID. Secret ID is used for the like uh, for, for PayPal integration into Angular. And uh, when we go testing tool, so in testing tool we have a sandbox account. So we have a multiple accounts here to for testing purpose. So what we have to do like uh, when we go for testing with this uh, part like business dot example. So when we click to this like or when we uh, like uh, to record uh, like when you create a business PayPal business account. So in this case to record you will get by default like uh, first one and second one that first one is business dot example and second one is personal dot example. So when we go with the testing like uh, we have integrated it successfully. Let me show you first. So uh, okay. So I have integrated it successfully into Angular and when we go into the uh, like for pay uh, for PayPal. So into this when we enter this email. So what we are doing here like when we using like business.example.com. So after opening this you can see like uh, let me open it into a new tab. So here when we use this business uh, email so for testing purpose. So when we enter this email and uh, copy the password okay so in this case we get the same error like we have uh, we you have seen in, in starting so same error we have got here so to uh, remove this error or to avoid this error what we have to do like you can see here we have a two default account and one is like created by me itself okay so in this case we have to use like for testing purpose to make payment we have to use personal account. So either you have to this like uh, you can see default one or you can you uh, use by like you have uh, that you have created manually. So how you can create manually like, manually, like uh, when uh, uh, if you are getting issue into the person one like we have a, a different issue like uh, I will also also provide the link of the different issue you will get uh, like uh, by using this if you belongs to from uh, another country other than USA. So in this case what you have to do you have to like create one more account for testing. So how you will create you will uh, click to create account and in this case you will you will need to select a personal account and uh, country region should be like uh, United States of America and you and when you click to create account you will get a new testing account here okay. So what we will use here like we will use this one because uh, in my case I belongs to India so we are getting issue related to currency uh, I will uh, provide the link of that issue also into description box, box so that if you get the same issues you can find the same okay. So let me open this one. So now you can see here we have opened the personal account and now we will make the payment using this. So let's make the logout earlier one and uh, uh, change the email. So put the new email of personal account and copy the password. Again go here and uh, click to next and put the password. And here the payment will be successful because we have provided the like uh, here we uh, got some issue. Let uh, let's try it again. So just we need to put the password again. You can see email is same SP-47. So you can see SP-47. So just click to like uh, login. And here you will see like a payment is uh, like about to be successful. So in this case by using this credential we can uh, see like a payment is successfully done. Okay. So here you can see payment successfully done. So using this one personal account you can uh, avoid this error or you can fix this error. So guys if you find this video helpful please subscribe the channel like it and share with your friends. So guys thank you thank you very much.